Vladimir Dubushkin, experimental noisemaker, dark techno visionary. You're the bringer of the weird and the wonderful. It's so amazing to have you here today with us. Thanks for taking the time to chat. How is ADE going for you so far? It was great. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday I performed at Awakenings uh, and it was much better than the previous uh, Awakenings uh, fest. It was uh, like uh, solid, tight and uh, I love it a lot. I saw some videos from it looked amazing. Do you prefer to play inside like yeah. an enclosed space? It's much warmer, you know, Yeah. play indoor events. Do you, warmer physically? or? Yeah, you... physically. <laughs> I thought you meant with the connection with the crowd too. I suppose that's also part of so, it. So, uh, you know, I prefer to perform uh, in a small clubs uh, and because it's uh, easy to catch the atmosphere on the dance floor. Yeah. I saw actually you mentioned something. You have like a love-hate relationship with one of your tracks. You were talking about it recently, Lady of the Night. Why is that? Why have you got that kind of relationship with that track? So, you know, it's a kind of strange story because uh, uh, the um, lyrics uh, uh, were taken from commercial uh, sample pack. Then I used uh, back vocals from Maasai sample pack, uh, it's, uh, from ethnic music. It uh, worked very well. I think the popularity of this song is uh, because of SoundCloud. I just see faces or screens like, turn on the sound. And it's <laughs> like, um, I need more experience. I didn't put this track on my green plate, maybe I mean. People like, um, sent me messages, why didn't you put this track on a vinyl? Because I bought a vinyl, there is no this track. Uh, I think in the future I will put this track on a compilation, trip compilation. Yeah, just to make an official status. Yeah, so people know where they can go to get it. What is your advice to other artists who are just starting their careers and building their confidence? To listen to uh, different or various uh, genres of music, uh, just to uh, transmit and record something then from I don't know, hip hop to Ser Serbian folk, uh, from lots of the underground to Dragan Mirkovic, I think that's the key. Generally speaking, when it comes to music, where do you find your inspiration? Other artists' music, like I still love Prodigy, Alt Electronic from Crystal Castles, uh, Chemical Brothers, and the uh, 90s techno, of course. I think uh, it's all time inspiration for me. How do you find samples? How does that work in your artistry? There are people who dig music. Yeah. So, and uh, I think uh, I'm the person who digs samples. I use uh, lots of uh, national music, as I said before, Serbian folk, uh, folk music, and uh, try to find interesting things, and then uh, play with this uh, loop uh, into with granulizer, uh, other instruments in my uh, sequencer. Okay, so while some people are sort of a crate digger, you, you consider yourself more of a, a sample digger? Yeah, sample digger. Do you have time for parties between your shows? No, I, I never like go to parties because uh, I'm tired of it. While I perform, it's enough for me. Okay, was that something that you did previously before becoming an artist? You know, uh, I prefer listen to music at home rather to have like dance on parties. Why is that? I don't know, it's uh, because I'm the type of person such type of person who like, prefer doing things uh, rather than represent them. Do you have any kind of rituals that you, that you have before you play a show? Oh, yeah, I, just, I think just scrolling YouTube videos. Really? Uh, yes, and I think uh, to come one hour before my set just to understand the crowd. <laughs> How do you, so you're there one hour before your set and you're kind of getting an understanding. What do you look for to be able to read the room and, and play a set that they will enjoy? Uh, how sweaty the room is and uh, what type of music uh, the DJ who played uh, like uh, before me, uh, what type of music he played. Okay, and then you adapt what you do to match that? Yeah, you just have to feel it. Yeah. You know, I prefer to perform uh, in a small clubs uh, and because it's uh, easy to catch the atmosphere on the dance floor. When I perform at big stages, it's uh, kind of hard to catch this ping pong effect. Uh, and you don't know how to interact with the audience uh, mm -hmm. or understand that yeah, people are ready for my music, for my weird dance stuff. That ping pong idea, that's super interesting. I've, I've never heard that before. Is that your personal kind of phrase? Yeah. And what it's, a, it's a way how I explain this. 
uh, like when I turn on the sound and uh, people uh, just make uh, videos in Instagram because, you know, it's an integral part and you understand, yeah, there is a vibe between us. So your EP came out this year. I would love to talk about the name because the name of your albums and the name of, of your tracks, that they're so interesting and it's like something I haven't seen before. Just for the sake of people watching at home, the EP is called The Botox Queen. Some of the track names from across the EPs include No Tell Motel. Uh, noodle soup, paranoid thoughts, Russian porn magazine. Yeah. Where do you get your ideas for these track names and these album names? Mm, honestly, it's uh, all about ironies, idioms. There's no sense in these uh, names. It's just a spontaneous thing. Uh, usually I use an associative thing, like, uh, for example, if you ask me uh, how the Russian porn sounds like, the answer is obvious. Who are your favorite up and coming artists at the moment? Who, who do you look to and, and really admire? I think still the prodigy in Crystal Castle. Really? And, uh, <laughs> but if we um, discuss the DJs, I really love uh, Stranger, Hector Ox. I love how they represent uh, music on a big stage. and feel the energy of the dance floor. And the final question I've got for you is, what is next for you? Do you, do you have an idea of what's next on the horizon? <laughs> I think uh, Time will show because uh, presently uh, I want to make a pause in my career just uh, to make something new. Amazing. Well, I look forward to whatever comes after that pause because it sounds like it's going to be amazing. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Let us know who you would like to see us interview next in the comments below.